What's going on guys? It's Kerber404 here back again and for another video and yeah this is another vlog in the city kind of thing and yeah and yeah uh, we we've just been to science works in the city of Melbourne like that's where we were uh, so and I did have a first portion of this video uh, recorded initially but but my mind decided had to delete that section so this is going to be a little bit of a reshoot so this is going to be a little bit of a reshoot of what it is is and hopefully you guys can understand and and aside from that enjoy the video for what it is okay guys i'm back i had a salmon and avocado sushi today and it was pretty good for what it was a little bit of it was a little bit of city food it was a little bit of city food that that got that got a pretty good like kind of review out here within the Melbourneian community and like a, I should probably get out of the way I should probably get out of the way of like oncoming strangers because like who knows what because like who knows what they're gonna possibly like do to you well like like in terms of physical harm and and yeah we're yeah we're we're back we're back at somewhere that i've been to before that i actually wrapped up a previous vlog to at and yeah this is the store of the master chocolatier over in the city and and so that you had to get a pretty good view of my beard there but like had to get out of the way had to get out of the way of onlookers but like this is pretty much the go-to place for chocolate out here in the city in the city of Melbourne and so if you ever wanted to come over here okay I'm back yet again okay I'm back yet again and there was someone asking if I wanted a if I wanted a sample of the chocolate that, that they sell here uh, and I of course just had a salmon and avo sushi he, he but but yeah but yeah like i think i have a little bit of like deleters removal also for getting rid of a previous part of the vlog that i recorded but initially with the intent of you using as the beginning part of the vlog but 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 hey it, it is what it is it is what it is and you can't really do anything about the past it is what it is and you can't really do anything about the past so someone so someone asked in the comments for one of my ASDF reaction videos because what do I think of what do I think of of the concept of the Marvel Cinematic Universe getting a full-on reboot after Secret Wars and and being someone who hasn't really seen Secret Wars yet that I have no real opinion on any of that and like I don't really have an opinion much 
on like the future as it is like at the moment at the moment what we're going through with the marvel cinematic universe is a little bit of superhero fatigue i think guardians of the galaxy volume 3 which is absolutely a good which is absolutely a good movie hey. may have been a little bit of a fluke with like with like the fact that it was done before like phase four of the mcu kind of launched and became like you know what it is and and like and like we've but yeah with the strikes going on on there is a little bit of prejudice and stigma against talking about like current content when there's a strike going on on so i'll probably put a link so i'll probably put a link into the script so i'll probably put a link in the description to resources that to resources that you can use to resources that you can use to donate pay to both the screen actors guild and the writers guild of america uh, granted that they be in american dollars because i live in australia i live in australia where the currency is very much different but yeah anyway point is guarding to the galaxy volume 3 while still a good move while still a good movie and i personally very much and i personally very much like it but along along with other critics out there uh, and even a little bit of all and even a little bit of the audience in a way and even a little bit of the audience in a way uh, it may have been a little bit of a fluke like marvel who had a little bit of a good luck streak peak with guardians 3 when the, when they were like well it's a case of it was a case of there had been plans for it there had been plans for it before there had been plans for it before phase four really came out and and became and became what it was in terms of the quality in terms of the quality so and like they were marvel were even counting on it to be the start of phase four like the gateway to what the fu to what the future was going to be to what the future of marvel on film was going to be like it was going to be it was going to be a phase that was mostly cosmic with some magic on the side and i personally would have really loved to have seen that vision play out but of course some old tweets from from the trauma days of of the writer and director of the guardians movies james gunn came back to haunt him and alan horn who was the chief creative officer i think of disney at the time publicly fu publicly fired him like right right away and when that happened the original plan and vision for fa phase four was toast like he did event like he was eventually brought back to write to direct guardians of the galaxy 3 he as the script was already done as the script was as the script was already done beforehand and but everything else that had been but everything else that had, that had been planned for the mcu up to that point had to all be scrapped aside from the eter aside from the eternals movie he, and yeah that's kind of all she wrote and that's kind of like all she wrote about that uh, because on top of of things happening like the disney fox acquisition 
competition happening and Netflix cancelling all of their Marvel shows along with Kevin Feige, he who is the chairman of Marvel, who kind of acquiring all the administrative responsibilities of of the of the previous administrative br branches of Marvel that were situated over at like Fox, Sony, Universal Studios, Lionsgate, and studios of that nature. Uh, uh, plus, plus there was also a mandate for other Disney Plus shows, for a lot of Disney Plus shows to be made that that kind of like impacted the entire thing and and that is after all what what and and no more MCU phases could be charted out the way they were going to be he charted out that's what he that's what he hired James Gunn for so other people some of whom had an ideological vent like Victoria Alonso had to pick up the slack before before she ultimately before she ultimately got fired but and and yeah that's pretty much all she wrote oh again like like but yeah point is like I personally think I personally don't think that the MCU will be rebooted but after Secret Wars, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does. But I wouldn't be surprised if it does, cause, cause at the moment DC is absolutely overthrow is absolutely overthrowing Marvel at the moment with some of its movies and even some of the plans that are coming up for the DC Cinematic Universe going forward with like the next 10 years with like the next 10 years or so oh, and and that'll be very, very interesting like like it is going to probably be a little bit of friendly competition but I also at the same time wouldn't be surprised if it isn't a case of friendly competition. Which actually brings me to the question that I want to ask you guys. Would you bail on Marvel to probably get invested in what James Gunn has to offer for DC on, fi for DC on film going forward? But would you just, would you just support both? Both. What characters would you like? What characters would you like to see he integrated into either things, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or even the next 10 years of DC on film? Well, let me let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below. Because personally, I love both Marvel and DC equally. Like, like I absolutely love Spider-Man and the gut. Guardians in particular, like they're pro like Spider-Man because he's a kind of basic oh I like oh I like him kind of character oh, that is in fact popular that is in fact popular oh, but also at the same time I like the Guardians because I'm a huge fan of Star Wars which is another franchise that has been recently been getting into a little bit of trouble under Disney because because of how Kathleen Kennedy he is running the ship over there uh, but in terms of like qualities of the fi films that Spider-Man and Guardians put out none could really reach the pinnacle of the Dark Knight, or the pinnacle of the Richard Donner Su of the Richard Donner Superman movie, and how, and how, DC, he could have beaten Marvel to the punch, 
punch with an MA15 plus rated superhero movie if they just did Swamp Thing. If they just did Swamp Thing thing a second time around. And I'm not, plus I'm not quite sure how well either company will do if they're all just united under a big gigantic umbrella if if Disney if Universal Studios ends up buying both Disney and both Disney and Warner Brothers the parent studios of both DC and Marvel well I'm just not sure how well that will go down for some people or like maybe some people will like it but also at the same time others will probably go again hence it but whereas i'm just a case of let's see what happens so yeah guys thanks so much for what so yeah guys guys i think it's a case of i've been walking around of i've been walking around quite a lot not talking to you guys and this video is probably gonna run, run for quite a long time anyway okay because of the current length that the video is at uh, but I'm just but I'm just probably not going to like deep dive too much into the theory into the theoretical state of the entertainment industry as a whole at the moment due to stuff like the writer's strike and stuff like and stuff like the Screen Actors Guild strike that is going on right now oh, but again I'll provide a link but again I'll provide a link in the description to resources that you can use used to donate to the writers and, and the actors is provided that they use provided that they use American dollars Just, but yeah the point is there support you support the entertainment industry that's probably what I personally want to say on the matter support the ent support the entertainment industry and hope for the best and hope for the best Netflix they can pretty much do whatever they want they can pretty much do whatever they want like it's a largely separate entity to the entity that the actors and the rock that the actors and the writers are striking again that the actors and the writers are striking against and so So yeah. So yeah. Well, that that is probably a little bit of a thing that will probably go on for quite a bit. You know, like I wouldn't be surprised if it lasts at the minimum until early 2025. Like I'm not necessarily fairly a pessimist when it comes to these str hikes like I absolutely support the core like I absolutely support the cause being a little bit of a being a little bit of a writer myself but, but yeah guys thanks so much for wa watching I think there will be a there will be a probable link in the description for a for a new new vlog in the city vlog around Melbourne if it comes out out, out next is the ne next video I make but for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all and I'll see you guys all later see you guys